Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how to update your device from iOS 17 beta to the public release of iOS 17. Now this year with the changes that Apple has made to the iOS software update, there's a few like different ways in which you can do this and of course a few different scenarios. So we're going to talk all about those. So first of all, if you're currently on iOS 16 and you don't have a beta of iOS 17 installed on your device, then updating will be very easy. You just go to your settings, of course, as usual, general software update, and right here you will get the public release of iOS 17. But of course, things will change if you have a beta installed on your device. Now, currently we're on beta 6, so if you have the beta 6 of iOS 17 installed on your device, then you, you no longer want to install any other betas, you want to wait for the public release, which I don't suggest because it's a month away and of course with the new betas we will get some more improvements, but if you just want to get out of the betas and wait for the public release, what you need to do is go to your settings, go to general, go to software update, and then here under beta updates, make sure you turn it off right here so you no longer get betas on your device. And once the public release is out, you will get it right here simply by going to the software update section. It's as easy as that. But if you continue with the betas and install the RC version of iOS 17, which most likely will be out on September 12th, after the iPhone 15 event, then if you have that installed on your device, you will no longer get the public release of iOS 17 on your device. The reason for that is that the RC version and the public release of iOS 17 are actually the same software update. So that's basically the public release, but Apple releases it for devs a week earlier. So if you have the RC version, whether you're on a dev beta or in a public beta of iOS 17, you will no longer get the public release of iOS 17. And it's nothing wrong with that. It's the exact same software update. Now, another option would be actually turning off beta updates. If you just want to do that, you can install the last beta, which will most, most likely be beta 9. And then before the RC version gets released, you can just turn it off here and wait for the public release. But I don't see any reason to do that. So that's how easy it is actually to update your iPhone to the new iOS 17, whether you're updating from iOS 16, a beta or the RC version, it's actually very easy with these new changes that Apple has made here. It made it actually very, very simple for anyone to update to a beta and to update to a public release. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video iOS 17 is looking to be a great, great update. So I can't wait for this update to actually release to the public, which again, most likely will be September 18th right here. And it has a ton of new cool features, which will be really amazing. And I'm really actually excited about the home screen interactive widgets. Once third party apps get, get out and of course release new updates for their widget for the home screen with the interactive feature that would be amazing and of course will be a total game changer for ios and the way you use the home screen of your iphone so that is it hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like if you did of course subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you on the next one